Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's Inner Stage Window. We are doing some more of our classic World of Warcraft Warlock Hardcore Run. All the words, all those words. Thank you so much, Lunar. Thank you so much. Okay, you can hear the crackling. You can hear the crackling. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, show, come on, show the game. Obs, obs, show them the game. There we go. Okay, so we um, we left off last time in Southern Barrens. Um, we are still going to be in Southern Barrens. Look, it's 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 Halloween time. It's Halloween time in the world of the Warcrafts. I feel like the game is a bit loud. I'm going to turn it down some. I think, is that better? Or is that too quiet? Y'all tell me. You have cheese crackers and grapes? Oh my god, that sounds delicious. You got some charcuterie. No, let's summon our, our voidy boy. Lunar, what are you up to today? Oh, also, are you feeling better? Are you feeling better? I feel like um last stream you ended you ended early. You weren't feeling well, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down to Southern Barrens where we were before. We didn't quite finish off what we were doing there, but I did in between streams go and pick up dig rat stew. So we're gonna go get the dig rats and we're gonna go get our last lightning gland. Good podcast, I enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Vesper. Vesper, is that the first of my podcast episodes that you've come to live, my friend? Is that the first time you've come to one of those? We do them about like once a month because it takes quite a lot more preparation, of course, than just a gaming stream. So, uh, so we have to plan for them. Um, next month, we are going to do one, like we said, about the Little Mermaid, like sequels and stuff. And then in uh, December, we are going to do one about the Ballad of Songbirds and Stakes movie. I'm going to go to the movies. I'm going to take my notes, take my notes at the movies like a little dork. And um, and we're going to do a podcast episode about that in December. It's going to be so fun. I'm feeling so much better. Oh, good. And I'm chilling. Going to stream and go to Fright Fest. Um, is Fright Fest like your your local version of like a, your Halloween thing? Yeah. Thank you so much, Vesper. I really appreciate that. We have many, many episodes. Um, we have episode. We have. Oh my God. Landon and I largely met and became friends because we were both into Harry Potter, and so we did all the Harry Potter books and movies and like. Oh my God, so much Harry Potter. Y'all, I have over twenty four hours of Harry Potter content on my YouTube channel. <laughs> How crazy is that? Um, and then we did all the Hunger Games books. Um, we've done. Let's see. We did the Matrix movies. Uh, we have an episode on Hamilton. We have a lot. We have a lot of podcast episodes. But they're all kind of like that. Kind of like what you saw. A point I want to point out something you said about how kids' movies are different now. And I remember things a lot. of 80s and 70s kids' movies were darker than stuff in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah, like, if this was the 80s, they wouldn't have been scared for Triton to be mean. Even if he was live action. They wouldn't have been scared, you know? Six Flags Halloween event thing, haunted houses, special food treats, and scare zones. Oh, fun. I haven't been to a Six Flags in so long. I used to go to the one in Atlanta, um, but it's been forever since I've been to a Six Flags. Okay. We're at the spot where we should see the guys for the lightning land. Oh, uh, also I got I got War Chief's Blessing in between streams, and then I, I've logged out so I could keep it until it was stream time. Because this movie that popped in my head was Witches for some reason. Yes, Witches was great and scary for kids. But I think kids are more resilient than, than they're given credit for. You know what I mean? I think they are. I think they can handle it. Same coworker friend and I are going, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's exciting. We're doing, a, um, I'm doing, participating in my works Halloween thing. We're going to do that on Wednesday. The theme for our team, our team chose Barbie. And so I'm gonna be bar I'm gonna be a Barbie. I've got this like beautiful like pink sweater dress. I'm gonna be like winter Barbie. And that's why I've got like the white, you can see matte nails with a silver accent nail. Focus, hello. Yeah. So and Barbie doesn't have square nails, so I filed them ovals. I hate the ovals. But uh gotta commit, gotta commit to the bit. So anyway, we're doing Barbie and it's gonna be super fun. I'm excited. We're decorating our suite and stuff. We get pictures. Yes, I'll definitely take pictures. 
Um, I'll take pictures of my costume for sure and like post those. Um, because the because the decorations and stuff are like at work, and I really don't want to post pictures of work. Like for those when I put them up in the Discord. Um, ooh, should we go for it? We should go for it. Um, when I put them up in the Discord, they won't like stay. Like I'll delete them, but I will make sure that you see them. Let's go. Don't regret this, Karen. Don't regret this. I don't know what this guy does. He might be super dangerous. I have no clue. But he's a rare, and I want to get him. Oh, he's not that. He's not that bad. He's not that bad. Sweet. Leveler ba. Please tag me. I will. And what is this? Stamina shoulders? Oh, but they're male. Whatever. Waste my time. But we leveled up. And he didn't even drop no lightning gland. Yeah, we've been working on the decorations. Um, the party is Wednesday, so lunch break on Monday and Tuesday is going to be more decorating. And uh, so that we're ready for the party. And you know what? Finance. Finance the department picked Barbie too. And they actually are kind of close, sit close to us. So it'll be fun when the kids come through. They go through ours as Barbie, and then they go to the next one that's also Barbie. So I think that'll be fun for them. I didn't join the Discord. You should totally join the Discord, Vesper. That way you get all the updates. And um, and since I'm not using Twitter anymore, my blue sky has, like, updates. You know, stream-related updates. If I need to tell y'all something about the stream, it'll it's there. So those are the two places where I'm really... Posting all the time. Okay, someone must be here. Like, everything's dead. and I, But I just need the dig rats. Discord is fine? Yeah. Someday Blue Sky will be... Will ha be open up so that anyone can join. And that it's easier. You know, but it's still invite only at the moment. Yes! Oh yeah, there is someone here. Hey, dude. I'm here for the rats. I already killed all the dwarfies I need. We did that last stream. But I forgot to pick up the dig rat quest, so... We're back. We're back in dwarf land. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, friend. I just don't really care for social media personally. Um, I don't hate it. It's just not for me. Totally understand. There's a lot of social media things that I probably wouldn't do if I didn't also love streaming. You know what I mean? Like what I actually have made of Blue Sky. Still um, like what I have actually like put the effort to making a Blue Sky while it's invite only if I didn't stream, like probably not. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a Facebook, you know? I don't have an Instagram. I've tried, like, getting active on Instagram and stuff like that, but it's just not for me. I can only maintain so many, you know, before it's, like, too much. I made a Twitter sorry X <laughs> when I was streaming and then I stopped streaming. Makes sense. And if you're not streaming anymore, there's no point in going there, right? Like, what is the point? Especially with Twitter now. Like, there's nothing of value on there if you're not trying to promote something. So, yeah. How many more? I only got four. I need four more. Spawn, little rats. I wish I hadn't forgotten to pick up this quest, and we wouldn't have to worry about this, but I did. So here we are. <laughs> I'm gonna make you guys into a stew.
Come on, hoppy hoppy. Oh. The foreman. I continue to be shocked that we haven't died yet. Truly. Truly shocked. I keep thinking. Hey, you back in the South Baron? That's right, Anubix, I sure am. I had to come back and get the dig rats, and we need one more lightning gland. So we're gonna have to kill a couple more of the um the thunder guys. Because I forgot to pick up this quest before. Did not I? I was in, uh, defeated by poor planning. How have you been, by the way, Anubix? And we need two more rats. Thirty-four hunter now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Just chilling and leveling in Stranglethorn. Stranglethorn is so mob dense. I think it would be scary, right? It's, it's scary to level there. I know if, uh, depending on how long I last, I'll eventually have to go. I think there might be a couple rats up here. What is this? Oh, Baron's Kodo. I don't need you. <laughs> Done with that. Okay. Oh, there's a rat. Oh, he resisted! You bitch. You will not resist me. Okay, just one more rat. Mm, is there a rat spawn down here? I feel like there is. Haha, -ha, there's one. Okay, did that. Now we gotta go kill some more storm hides. And then we can go turn in all these quests that we were almost that we were done with last time. I think then we move on to somewhere else. So yeah, in between streams, the other things that I did was um I got my enchanting and tailoring up just a little bit, not very much. Um, cooking in first aid, I got all the way up to 150, and, and same with fishing. Um, and then I went and got the book from Booty Bay for that. And then I made sure to get my defense leveled up. So you can see it's 129. We just dinged 27. So it was like only one point away a second ago. So I'm trying to like not let my defense fall so behind as I was doing originally in earlier streams. Like I'm trying to get that leveled up in between streams. It's not too bad, it's just really boring sitting there and like letting the things hit you over and over and over, just trying to get the defense leveled up. Cause I don't want to do it with something too hard, I'll freaking die off stream. So it's, I do it like with gray mobs or whatever, and it just takes forever. Like this game does not want you to level defense if you're a caster. Like I'm a clothy, I don't want things to hit me most of the time. But I don't want my defense to get so far behind so that I immediately die when something does hit me. So it's it's struggle. It's a struggle. Okay, why so many hyenas and no little storm hide guys? Big storm hide guys. Where are they? Dinosaurs. Where is you? D -d 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 Dino. I 
I need your lightning ning ning ning. Oh my gosh, I think someone came through and just killed them all. If you run a dungeon, I can help DPS. Thank you so much. I haven't really run dungeons on this girl. At all. 27 is BFD or SFK? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, I haven't really run dungeons on her at all. Because I only play her on stream. So I just don't really have, like, time to sit and wait for a group to get together. Because I don't, like, you know, I'm not some... I don't, like, stream all day or whatever. So, um, so that's why I haven't really done it. And I've just kind of, like, leveled with the questing. Which has been working fine. You know, less risky, I suppose, in some ways. In other ways, I guess dungeons aren't, are, are less... Well, because you have a group, so like in some ways dungeons are super risky, in some ways they're not. Like, you gotta trust the people in the group. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, that's why I haven't really run any at this point. You know, the timing, it just isn't work, doesn't work out to put the group together. Four hours is a good amount of time for streaming. That's what I feel like, too. I feel like if I stream for four hours, I can be, like, um, interested, you know, and engaging and entertaining within four hours. And I think after that, like, for people that stream, like, longer times, like six hours, eight hours or whatever, I feel like that just the style has to be completely different. I just don't think you can keep that energy up. You know, people that stream for longer, I just think they're doing different things than the way that I'm doing it. Do you know what I mean? I was doing eight hours and it slowly became four hours. Yeah. Yeah. And I've streamed, I've done long streams before and they're just, they're much chiller, which is fine. And, but I'm, and I'm a kind of chill person anyways, but like it just, there's a line between chill and boring. <laughs> and I feel like when I do the longer streams, I have to do other things to make sure I don't cross from the chill chill zone into the boring zone because burnout's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, even if you are super chill about it and you don't mind that segments of your stream are quite boring, it, you're, it's still like, oh, there's somebody watching me for, um, for eight hours. And the act of being watched um, does, and being recorded, does take a certain amount of energy from you. My RP site posted a new writing contest. Uh-oh, okay, what is it? It's about your character's funeral. What they see, feel, hear, and I'm gonna use everyone's favorite character of mine, Delilah. <gasps> You're gonna post Delilah's funeral? Girl, they're gonna cry. They're gonna cry. Do you think you might win this one too? Did they do that? Because didn't you win the last one? Do they do that where, like, if you've won one, they're probably not going to pick you to win the next one? Or is it, like, possible for you to win this one? Two. Finally found another storm hide. My god. Yeah, I definitely think someone had just come through here and destroyed them all. I got second place last two times. Okay. Second place last two times? You are owed a first place. You are owed a first place. I believe in you. You're going to do this. You're going to get that first place finally. Th three times. Third time's a charm. First place for you. Man, a funeral. That's going to be really tear jerking. So if this is a writing contest part of it, though, does that mean you actually have to kill off Delilah for this? Or is it like just hypothetical? Like, is it just like an exercise or is it like canon to the to the role play? that this happens now. That's Hypothetical? Okay, okay. So you don't actually have to... So you could totally, like, take someone beloved and make it really tragic, and but you don't have to commit to it. So that's nice. Oh, I love that. Oh my god. Drop the gland. Uh, Chen needs to fill his empty keg.
He's thirsty. I could use myself for any character, but Delilah is loved by so many people, then definitely use Delilah. Like, that's the play. That's the play to try to win, then. For sure. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I want to hear. I want to hear. Guess what? I got first place. I want to hear that from you. I believe in you. I think it can happen. Oh, there's a storm hide somewhere. Oh, it's the dead one. My god, I got excited for a second. It's the one I already killed in that little corner. And of course, you can't just kill any of the like lightning guys in this zone for this. It's got to be the storm hide one specifically around here. So I can't just go elsewhere. Where did I put my buffs? Oh, I need to fix my bars. I do remember, I do remember doing that on the other computer where the, I have the bar there. And I never came here and fixed it. The deadline's November 30th and I've been looking up stuff about how to deliver a character's death. Yes. Well, you have lots of time if it's not till November 30th. Hang on, let me open the bartender. I need to fix this. Is it bar four? Yes, it's bar four. There we go. Yay, buffed up. You're gonna get first place though, I know it. Someone make these little storm hide guys spawn, please. Someone another dead one. Yeah, because I killed that one. Layer invite, layer invite for a layer with freaking storm hides. Layer me, please. <laughs> Aha, there's one. Okay. Do you have my lightning gland? I think it might have my lightning gland. Nope. Okay. Is there another one over here? Currently in her actual story, Delilah ha was asked to go to the Halloween ball, so she has a date. Nice! What's she gonna be for Halloween? What are you gonna be for Halloween, Lunar? Barbie, as I told you guys. Be a Barbie. God. This game wants Chen to be thirsty.
let's check the spawns down here. See if they're up. When I killed the rare one, I feel like I should be entitled to get this. She's part wolf, so she's going to have her wolf ears and wear her masquerade mask since the masquerade ball. Oh, that's cute. I love that. So they can, in that um, game, werewolves and stuff can like partially transform like that. That's cool. Oh, Lunar. Because you love farming sims. The ears just reminded me. Because you love farming sims, you need to go download Sunhaven. It's 20 bucks. It's only 20 bucks. It's a farming sim RPG. It's amazing. You would love it. You can make a wolf girl as your character in the farming sim. You would love it. Speaking of 10-2, I for some reason thought of Payne's backstory is more fleshed out than it is in my, it has been years. Her, yeah, her backstory is not that fleshed out. I mean, you find out that she's in, sorry, spoilers, but we finished the game, so not for you guys, because you all know. You all know, because you uh, you absolutely watched my whole new Yevon run that we completed. Anyways, um, you find out, like, she was the videographer, you know, for, the, for those guys, for the three leader guys. But before she joined up, uh, with the Crusaders, you really don't know what she did before that. So all you really find out is that she joined the Crusaders and she was their videographer. I can, yes. Yes. Sunhaven. 20 bucks. You want it. It's, it's, it's you. You would love it. There's magic. You cast spells. It's really good. It's really, really good. I'm heavily considering it for a new community day game in 2024. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Heavily considering it. It's very good. I'm just playing enough of it right now to decide if it um, can be that or not. But I know you would love it. But it's literally an RPG, like with quests and like important dialogue and things like that. So it's it's not it's not the same as other farming sims. It's like a real RPG farming sim. I'll have to check it out. Yes, you would uh, you would love it. Sunhaven. You can be you can be an, an animal person with almost any kind of animal. Like you can be you can pick the animal person. You could be like a fish or a snake or whatever. You can be a naga. You can be a angel, a demon, an elf, a human. Um, an elemental is one of the types of people you can pick. It's, it's just the character creator is awesome, also. Yeah, I had this thing that happened. Um, yeah, this thing happened where it's like I thought this was really good. And I'm like, dang, it it is still good. It's just not as good in my mind <laughs> as in my mind. Yeah. Well, I think Final Fantasy X-2, um, it feels like it's better than it is in regards to the story because the combat is so good. Like the dress sphere system is good and the combat is like so fast and fun that it's easier to forgive the strange um, or lacking elements of the story. Also, the ending is still really impactful. Like when you go and you fight Shuyin and Vegnagun and everything and the scene between him and Lin, like that's still like, it brings me to tears. Like it's really sad and impactful and, um, you know, and meaningful and stuff, you know, but and it got a candle to 10 on that. FF10 too, yes. We we like 10 too. We we love Final Fantasy 10 on this channel and we like 10 too. We did the new we did a new Yevon run. Um sometime in November we'll start a new game plus of that game so I can show you guys the uh, youth league scenes as well. 100% completing completion ending is the way to go, true. True. We did not get the perfect ending because we did a new Yevon run. But we will get a perfect ending on the new game plus. We just got a good ending. Um, I showed all the endings though. I showed all the endings except the perfect ending, which we will get on the next game. 
But I think it's really sad that you can't get 100% completion on a new Yevon run. I did everything I could possibly have done on that run, and you end up with 99.2. My ending was at 98. So close. So close. Did you beat Trema? Because that gets you some points, too, if you go all the way down to the Via Infinito and beat Trema. But it's hard. Oh my god. These things. Come on. The next one I kill better drop it. I think I only need the last boss in Yevon last floor. Yeah, Trema. So if you do a new Yevon run, you can get to 99.2%. Um, and But you do have to beat Trema to get that much percentage points. You can, if you do, um, if you do the Youth League, you can get to 100% without even beating Trema. You can get enough percentage points from other things. Oh my god, why are they not spawning? I need some hyperspawns, wow. You love to give the hyperspawns in the cave. Give me hyperspawns here, in the southern barrens, where I need them. I think my game is going to be a second new game plus. Nice. Yeah, so for 10-2, we're going to do, we're going to do a, um, we're going to do a, uh, open world is change layer. Yeah, but I don't think I can. Like, I don't, yeah, layer hopper's not working. It says requesting, but it's not going to work. Oh, there's one. So I'd have to ask someone to layer me. Land? Yes, fucking finally. Okay, we can go turn all this stuff in. Let's go back to Camp T. Where is my heart set at? It said it's set at Camp T. Okay. <clears throat> it's having me set it to crossroads in a couple steps. Where am I at? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be lazy. And be lazy in hearth. I'm too far away. We've just, we've run around so much. The new dress spheres. It was my first time doing the PC version. Oh, um, the PC version with the new dress spheres is good. It's fun. I like the festivalist and stuff. Like I think they're really fun. Oh, weapons of choice is up here. <laughs> Just kidding. I already have all the weapons, though, so. Draw hall. May your blades never dull. Strength, go forth to victory. Um. For the horde. Or sample. Strength. I think you have to do that in Thousand Needles, which I assume will go to Thousand Needles. I want to do a run where 100% every job. Yes. So I'm. What I'm going to attempt to do is a 200% run of the game. So after we do, after we do the Youth League run that we're going to do next, How may I um, you? we are going to. Ancestors. We're gonna do a run where we do all of the monsters. So that's like in the in the PC version, you know, you can do like the the monster thing. So we're gonna do that. Um, so we can see all of the fiend tales, and uh, and so yeah, I don't know if we'll 100% every dress sphere, but we'll try. We'll try to 100% as many dress spheres as we can. 
through through those three runs. But if we do those those three runs completely, that's what's considered like a 200% run. So that's my goal. We should probably do Marin too while we're here. Oh, dang, that means I have to use Songstress. True! Yeah, Songstress is one of the dress spheres and you would have to use it. It's not so bad. Like, it's nice to get the, um, to like get the buffs. Like, the plus five attack and stuff. Like, it's not so bad. Just having one of the girls do do songstress. Especially if the other two girls are on, like, really powerful dress spheres like Dark Knight or something. Ooh, what was that? Honored with Orgrimmar. Nice. Okay, set my hearthstone to crossroads. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Looking for something special? We shall meet again. Okay. Let's go turn in Dig Rat Stew as well. Are you gonna try to do the, um, the, what are they called? The dress spheres that each of the girls has that's like their their super dress sphere where they go and they um and they're by themselves like the other girls go away when you switch to it the super dress spheres you gonna do that too i like the combo of when you're low on hp equals nine out of nine guarantee hit combo with gunslinger shots yes that one's good true 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 true, true. Two of my girls do that nice. Dabu. Go with honor. And one res if any dead, yeah. Okay, where is the digrats too? We can learn it, okay. And yes, these are an upgrade. Okay, sweet, I thought they would be. All right, yay. All right, now we're gonna head over to Ratchet and turn in the Ratchet quests. Oh, it does have me doing the Marin Sky Seer one now. Okay, good. Because I was gonna do that anyway, even if it didn't tell me to. I'm gonna kill Nessie. Most fight doesn't last three cycles, true. So yeah, I think for this, for the, um, for the Youth League run, I'm gonna show the, like, the dress spheres that all, that all have differences, kind of like mascot, because, like, Festivalist and Trainer, it's different for each girl, so I want to show that off, too, because I haven't really done that. I didn't use those at all in the first, that first run that we did, so I want to show those off, because they're kind of fun. Blood and thunder. Straight. All right, two Ratchet. Okay, and it does have us do Isho lock, okay. Then it says fly to Sunrock Retreat, but then hearth back to Crossroads? Like, why? Doesn't make any sense. Sell your junk and then fly to Sunrock Retreat again? The heck? Festival's kind of like a worse version of Mascot. Yeah, yeah, so it's like fun for early game. But that's exactly, it. I do feel like it's like a worse version of Mascot. But that's why it's kind of fun. Oh my god, FPS, why? Stop dipping. I see we have a couple friends in the YouTube, watching on YouTube, by the way. If you want to participate in the chat that um, shows up on screen, come on, hang out over at twitch.tv slash it's Karen Terry. If you do prefer to watch on YouTube, though, thank you so much. Um, don't forget to like the stream if you're over there. It really does help me out. Because I just started doing YouTube streams. So I've been streaming on Twitch. Um, but I thought, like, 
I should really be streaming on both. I really should. Lots of other people do it. It's not like super against the rules anymore. So I'm like, why not? But I don't show the YouTube chat on screen because... Oh yeah, that's right. Um, because a lot of people have their government names on YouTube, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go do the Sky Seer. Oh wait, I need my Voidy Boy. Psychic, on the other hand, Psychic is amazing. I love the Psychic Dress Sphere. So good. It's so good. I have, I, Yuna, did Psychic for a little bit in my, um, first playthrough. Did they change the rules? Kind of. Kind of. My understanding is technically you're still not supposed to, but it is not enforced anymore. And I've watched some really big streamers be streaming on both, and they have both mon they have monetization turned on for both. So I'm like, well, fuck it. If they can do it without getting caught, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If Twitch bans me, then I'll just I just move over to streaming on YouTube <laughs> instead. You know. But I don't think they will. From from what I have observed recently. I don't think they will. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, my technically TOS hasn't changed, but Yeah. So we're streaming on both now. And I thought I would debut that today since we had the podcast at the beginning. So that way people could rewind if they came in for the podcast and they wanted, they missed the beginning of it, they could still go catch it. Kind of live-ish. Instead of having to wait for me to post like the actual video on Mondays. Which I'll still do, of course. But, you know. What's up, Marin? What? Okay, hopefully Isha is up. Hey girl, Isha. TOS says a lot of things like how you're not meant to show plant stuff. Why? Is it like a drug thing? If you catch my meaning. Oh yeah, but everyone does that. Okay, yes, I understand now. I did think you meant literally at first, but if you catch my meaning clarified, I know what you mean now. Yeah, but everyone does. Like, a lot of people are vaping that on Twitch, you know, especially with vapes. And it's no big deal. I think so long as people don't get on an act of fool, like, they don't enforce that type of stuff. And I'm not really, like, big enough to be, like, a Twitch talent where they're, like, trying to retain me or something. So I just don't think it makes any difference. And I think that it's not worth it for them to take action, so they simply won't. Isha, Isha. Where is you? There she is. So for Isha, oh, someone's killing her. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Invite me, invite me. They can't join our group. Damn it. They can't join our group. Whatever. Maybe they'll invite me if I attack it. Because they didn't end up doing it. Thank you so much for the lurk, Koneko. I didn't even know you were here today, friend. I hope the horsies were good. And I hope you're having a good day. There we 
go. Isha's level 27, but he's a pushover. Now, where do I turn this in? Oh, at the guard tower. I made sure when I was going for Twitch affiliate to read the TOS, and then I quit just before, <laughs> just before I could. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Vesper. I'm so sorry. I, I hear that if you're just getting started streaming nowadays, YouTube is the better option to get started on. And honestly, like, I would switch. Like, I would abandon Twitch and switch back, switch just over to YouTube for videos and for streaming for everything if they would have add in channel points. Only thing I was missing was the active chatters. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. I do think that that is the hardest part. You gotta kind of, like, make, make friends and network with people that will actually come into the chat, which is really hard. Because a lot of times the people that are worth networking with, like, are busy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, it is difficult. But I was doing it during the, during the pandemic, when, like, things were crazy and, like, everybody was on Twitch. So, like, it was pretty simple for me because I was doing, I was streaming very consistently during the very beginning of the pandemic. So, that's what made it possible for me, I feel. And it's definitely been different this year, as far as activity goes. Now that people are going out and doing things, like, they're just not coming and hanging out on Twitch in the same way. In the same capacity, you know, all that stuff. Better wand. Wins. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes. Nice wand upgrade. Love it. Okay. Why are we flying to Sunrock Retreat? Okay. We're accepting Scenarius's legacy. Okay. Got it. It's also like what makes you stand out in the sea of others. Yes. It's hard because there's so many people streaming. There's so many people streaming and you really have to think hard about like, you know, what am I doing that's going to be different from other people? Like, um, if friends want to get started streaming, like, and they ask for advice, the main thing that I would tell them is like, don't just try to collect viewers. Try to think about like, why are you streaming? What is it that you want to do? What is your unique message that you want to get out there? Like, what is the content that you feel is, like, in your heart that you need to, like, make? What was that? Oh, I can't see. Oh, because I'm restreaming. I can't see what you said. Jane, Jane, I can't tell what you said. Hang on. What did you play? Hello, Jane. It's been so long since I've seen you in a live. How are you? I mean, I know how you are because we're in the RP together. But wait, I need to pull up the thing. Hang on. So I can see what you said. I saw you did a sound alert. Or we're, we're streaming on both. We're streaming on both Twitch and YouTube now. So like when I look at the chat, like it's a totally different situation. What is, what did you, what did you do? Oh my God, I can't tell. I can't tell. What sound alert was that? Yes, we're streaming on both. We're streaming on, you did bubbles? Oh, yeah, yeah, bubbles. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're streaming on both now. Um, I'm YouTube, though, chat, the YouTube chat is not on screen. Like, I can still read it, but y'all won't see it on screen if any of the YouTube people chat. Um, because I know a lot of y'all have, like, your government names on YouTube. And so, like, that's not right to, uh, to have that um, showing on screen. So, yeah, only the Twitch chat is on screen, being recorded. <laughs> Bubbles. Oh, well, I'm going to bring in my bubble machine for, for the Barbie uh, stuff that we're doing at work, because part of the Barbie decorations is a pool, because Barbie always has a pool. 
So we're gonna have a bubble machine. I'm gonna bring in the bubble machine for that. My coworkers are gonna no. like love it, I think, as much as y'all love it. Right back. Okay, we're gonna go turn in the rune scroll. I think would be the best thing. <laughs> yep, because then it's okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just looking at what the rest, the way the guide wants me to go. Government names. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yours isn't. Yours isn't. Oh, nice. But a lot of people's are because it's tied to their Gmail or whatever, and they have like their real name on their Gmail. But yeah. While you're there, like the stream. But yeah, my government name's not on there either. It's Karen Terry on there too. But for a lot of people, that's not the case. Which like when I was first considering like streaming to YouTube sometimes or things like that, like I asked a bunch of you guys, a bunch of my friends, if you, if you know, your thoughts. And I did, uh, several people said like, well, I wouldn't talk because my government name's on there. I have an RPG email, lol, please. Okay, I'm headed there now. Yes, go experience, go experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to hear the sound alerts without anything in my OBS like telling me which sound alert you guys played so like I know but I know it's uh it was the howl I know that one I assume Lunar did it <laughs> okay Vesper when I see that message come through on the restream it just like tells me the names of those emojis those must be unique to YouTube emojis how did you know girl <laughs> Lunar, please, <laughs> please. If it's a howl, it's you, girl. It's you. You are the howl queen. Jane, Jane. Oh, I was telling Lunar this earlier. Jane, are you, you like Stardew, right? Like you actually play Stardew or do you just come to the stream sometime? Yeah, while y'all are there, like the stream, like the YouTube stream. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're soggy Jane over there too. Oh, and you have a cute icon where it says soggy. Nice. Like the stream. Okay, Jane, I have a question for you. Do you do you like actually play Stardew? I've never played too scary. Okay. Never mind then. I was going to tell you that you need to get Sunhaven. But if you don't really care about if Sunhaven, it's just farming sim. It's similar to Stardew. So, you know. Oh, those are cute. Whose emojis are those, Vesper? I like this. Tell me more. Okay. It's a Stardew RPG. So, like, it literally has, like, quests and, like, a real storyline. Because, you know, Stardew doesn't really have a storyline. I mean, it's a little bit. Like, you rebuild the community center, but, like, not really, you know? Um, but this has, like, a legit storyline, and it's got magic, okay? And you pick your starting race and class. Like, it's like a Dungeons & Dragons, but, I mean, they've got their own types of things, you know. But anyways, you can be like an animal person. You can be an elemental. You can be an angel, a demon, an elf. Okay, you can be all these things and more. I probably forgot some. Um, but I'm loving it so far. I downloaded it to try it out as a new community day game potential for 2024. And I've fallen in love. It's amazing. So I'm playing enough of it to try to decide if it should be a community game day game or not. I want to be an angel. How I get Sun Haven. Is twenty dollars. Sunhaven. Twenty dollars on Steam. Steam, yes, yes. I love that for farming sims, the typical price point is twenty dollars. <laughs> it's the best. Because it's got way more than $20 of content in it. I can already tell you that. And I don't have that many hours into it. Whew. 
Ooh. Oh, I didn't expect that yawn. Okay. Should be up here to turn in the rune scroll. Do I need the packs? No. The packs are just for extra bonus pets, which you do not need. You There's tons of pets in the game already. You don't need the bonus pets. I would not recommend buying those unless you just want to give the devs extra money. Like, they're not needed. As far as I know, yeah, Sunhaven, you got it. Yep, $24.99. Not expensive. Strength and honor. Oh. Kill the leader of Talon Den. Okay, okay. We are probably going to go to Talon Den. I can always return it. Yes, if you hate it, you can return it. Okay. I think while we're here... I think while we're here, it's time. It's time to get our incubus. I thought about getting it before. It's like Stardew. Yes, it's like Stardew. It's like it's like a, it's literally like if Stardew was an RPG. The, if Star, Stardew was like literally a role-playing game. That's what this is. Like if Stardew had a real plot and magic. Okay, these things, these guys here that I didn't kill before. Baby awake, got a zip. Oh, go back to sleep, Bonesaw. Jane was hanging out with her adult friends. Downloading, yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna get everyone to play Sunhaven. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're actually gonna kill these guys now. I'm high enough level, I'm not scared of them anymore. Funny thing you said Stardew and it more like this Stardew is first there. I believe it. <laughs> As it should be. Because it is. If you like Stardew, you will like it. My god, these guys hit hard. Disney Dreamlight Valley. Yeah, I liked it too. I got I got kind of over it. I feel like I kind of exhausted it a bit quickly, but um but I did enjoy it during the time that I was playing that game. My god, these guys hit hard. Why is this like a quest you get at level 20? It's so dumb. Oh shit, I pulled two. I am like, oh, it's 90s Disney and not news Disney. I can handle this, yeah. I'm out of range. Okay, we're gonna kill this one because he's almost dead. Hong Kong, you're doing good. Good job, Hong Kong. Okay, let's see if we can get this one. with how hard these guys hit. Can't believe we tried to take two. I was gonna run away, but then I changed my mind. It's like, no. No. We got this. Huge fan, great vid. Thank you, gamer fan. Don't forget to like the stream. I don't normally stream on YouTube, so... You know, it's new for me. So please like. Too far away. 
there's the withered scarf. Thank you, queen. Your meow was good luck. Your meow was good luck. I got the scarf. Meow, yes. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Let's go get our incubus, you guys. Come here, queen. Come on, come into the frame so they can see you. See you beautiful. Hello, come here. Into the frame. Here we go. Come on, a little bit farther. <laughs> she don't want to. I try to get her to come in my lap, but she don't want to. Look at that fluffy tail. You have such a fluffy tail, queen. Um, that's my water. Don't hit that with your tail. Man, Sharp Talon gonna come out and destroy me while I'm talking to my cat. <laughs> Please don't. I'm gonna have to come back to Ashenvale and do these quests, I think, because then I and I have from Zoramgar um, these guys up here we need to do. Shanumbra's head. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to come back to Ashenvale and do quests at some point. You know, I just watched the movie trailer for the Little Mermaid live action and I seen CGI Sebastian. Yeah, passed. Yeah, he looks terrible, right? He's terrifying. He's expressionless. He's awful. We hate him. And I love Sebastian in the Strength original so much. Strength. For the um, but in the live action, he's awful. Literally the worst. Love the horns. Thanks, Cranny. Welcome in, by the way. I think you are Lord. new. I have no. I don't think I've seen you here before. Um, my name is Karen Terry. We do a lot of all kinds of fun streams here. Right now, we are working on our Hardcore Classic Warlock ch uh, challenge. We've gotten to level 27. Um, because I only play her on stream, it's been slow going, but we haven't died yet. Um, doing my best not to die. We also do um, a lot of like games from around this era, early 2000s. So I have a 100% playthrough, for example, of Final Fantasy X, um, of Majora's Mask, um, you know, stuff like that. We also are playing through 10-2 right now. That's another game that's featured on my channel at the moment. We play a lot of Sims 2. Um, in addition to that, we have a media analysis podcast that I do with my friend Landon like today, just before this we had a, uh, a episode where we talked about the Little Mermaid, the original animated one versus the live action remake, which is why our friend here is, uh, is talking about uh, Sebastian. No, I can't, no, I'm not gonna shut up. It's my stream, what the heck? <laughs> what? Hang on, how do I, what? Did that work? This is the first time using Restream, so I don't know how to do like certain commands. I don't think I have any mods in the chat right now, do I? And thank you so much, Tarux. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Lunar. Yeah, can you ban them? Please. Thank y'all. Okay, let's go get our Incubus.
I'm gonna have to figure out how, oh, thank you. I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that. Because <clears throat> when I click on the people in this chat, like it doesn't give me those good options. Like it gives me when it's like the Twitch chat. So I'll have to figure that out. You're the best, Lunar. And no, by the way, I will not shut up on my own stream. Oh my god, what's happening? What's happening right now? Lunar, can you ban them too, please? It would be the first day using Restream. I can't click it myself. Did I get some weirdos in here? <laughs> right? Thank you. You're the bestest lunar. All right. You you two Look weirdos off. that were being annoying Be in safe. my chat. The you're the incubus that I'm about to destroy. This is you. Oh, someone wants help with a layer. I don't know what layer I'm on though, so I don't know if this is going to do anything for them. Hopefully that fixed their layer situation. I'm gonna have to find a different add-on for telling me the layer, because layer hopper like just doesn't. Okay. Um let's summon. Oh it worked. We did help them with their layer. Okay, this incubus is you, weird chatters, and this is what I do to you. I can't attack that target. Destroy. Yay. What do you need? Go forth, victory. All right, so now we can summon an incubus instead of a succubus. We got another soul pouch, but like we don't need a soul pouch. Like one is one is fine, so I'll probably get rid of that. But um, but let's check him out. This is what I when I use a succubus. This is what I actually want to use instead. Like just watch this. Like he's so he's so tall, y'all. He's so tall. Now what? Look at that and listen to that voice. Bar Bar Severus? Oh my god, y'all. It's Severus. Did you know? Did you know I was there? Did you know I was there reading the Snape Wives back in the early 2000s on the live journal? I was there. I was not posting. So don't go looking. <laughs> but I was reading that shit. I was reading that shit. Look at him. <sighs> Eventually they got, they introduced him as an alternative to the succubus and then they got rid of him. This was in TBC. Then they got rid of him. T tragic, tragic. But there he is in all of his incubus glory. All right, let's actually head over to Sunrock now. And do, I guess the next, I guess we'll be doing quests in that, um, that kind of scary area, Charred Vale. A lot of the stuff that it looks like it's got us doing is in Charred Vale. Uh, I am nervous. The char, the, there's harpies. And as y'all know, harpies do not social distance. And like everything is all on top of each other in the Charred Vale, so. I'm a little nervous. So it looks like that's where we're headed.
What are you looking for? For the whore. <clears throat> Sunhaven as a Halloween trick or treat has a Halloween trick or treat pack. Oh my god, really? What's in it? What's in the Halloween pack? I didn't even know. I think I didn't notice that because, like, when I looked at the packs, it was like a bunch of um, it was a bunch of different like uh, pets and stuff, and a mushy pack and a cyberpop pack. Is it pets? I thought the packs were all pets. Sounds like maybe some of it's records, because you can get records that you can play in a record player there, too. Sweet mounts pack. Yeah, there's mounts, too. There's mounts in the game. I don't have a mount, so I've not played enough, but there are mounts in this game. I need a mount in WoW. Man, if we could get to 40, if we get to 40, y'all, and I get my mount, I'll feel, like, so good. Like, that would be such an achievement. To make it to mount level. Get to mount level and then work for 90G for actual mount. Oh my gold is like 10G. Oh no, Anubix, I'm so sorry. Without training? Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, that's the thing about warlocks is I wouldn't have to... Well, that's not true. The quest still does require you for the epic mount to spend like a lot of gold. So I was about to say like I wouldn't have to spend as much gold, but that's not really true. It's not really true. Because I still got to buy all that shit from the one guy in... um. Blasted lands or wherever it is. Not as much. Yeah, not as much, but still significant amount of gold. Not as crazy amount, though. Trick or treat pack has spooky furniture, table rug, etc. And a ghost mount and a will o -wisp ghost pet and 10 spooky outfits. Oh. Okay, so it is all cosmetic. Just like the other packs I did look at. So yeah, as far as I can tell, none of the packs like add gameplay. It's all cosmetic stuff decorations and things like that. Which is nice. And I'm pretty sure this was like a Kickstarter game when it first came out. But when it first came out, it really did not have a lot of features and um, it was pretty, pretty feature bare and did not really interest me. But um, the reason why I paid attention again is because the 1.2 update was getting a lot of buzz and people were really talking a lot about it. What is it, queen? I hear your little meow meows. Yeah? Is that so? Oh, I never considered that. You're teaching me so much right now. I didn't know. Okay, 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 okay. I'll give you a little pet. You need no pet. Love you. I just bought it. My plate on stream. Yes! Girl, it's so good. It's so good. I'm really enjoying it so far. I've not even finished the first spring or anything, and I'm really enjoying it. You know, rating is nice, but the random gifting, and I'm like, I don't know who this is, who, who this is <laughs> or where I got this emote. <laughs> it looks like a good emote. But yeah, that's true. All right, let's sell our junk. Hail. Winds be at your back. Be careful. Oh, 
All right, what can innkeeper. I do for you? Don't need this. Bless you, queen. Oh, I didn't mean to sell my slum slumber sand. I need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I could try to sell that. For the horde! Hmm? Oh! That's thug, right. Thug. I have to sell you. Because you are made with enchanting, I cannot disenchant you. That's true. I know it tells me, um, but I'm like, I don't recall watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I assume those come from raids as well when that happens. I have a bunch of those too, just from hanging out on Twitch. It just kind of happens and you get caught up in raids and you walk away and it's like, oh, this is like three channels later. Okay. Um... All right, bags is organized. Let's go accept more quests. Ah, oh, I've been expecting. What brings you here? All right, let's go place the toxic fogger. I use Twitch a lot as background noise, me too. Like if I don't know what I want to watch, um, typically what I will do is turn on Twitch. And, uh, and it's not unusual for me to like walk away while I'm in the middle of watching a Twitch stream, so. Yep, I do the exact same thing. I bought some packs to test them out. Oh, nice. Case in point, like I got to your mist videos and I was just letting the stuff autoplay. Yes, mist is good for that. It's so chill. It's so nice. They're like really good short little games. Well, if you don't know the answers to the puzzles, they are not that short. Let me rephrase. The my they're good because they're like not very long to watch the whole series on my YouTube. But <laughs> uh, actually playing Mist, if you do not know the puzzle answers, they can take forever. Riven, people, if you don't know how to beat Riven, you will pour hours into that game. Riven is hard. Ugh. Like, it's ridiculous. The fire marble puzzle. The nightmares it makes people have. Oof. Where do shredding machines get turned in at? Hmm. Maybe it was down in that... No, I don't see it down there either. I don't know where you turn in shredding machines at. I think I enjoyed the third one the most, but the setting of two was cool, yeah. The third one at the time got so criticized for being too easy, but I do not agree. I think it's beautiful. I especially love um, Adana. I think it's called Adana. The nature one in the third one. Yeah, plus the third one has the um, roller coaster ball, which is fun. Okay. 
dodge around these guys. you this way instead of with the fogger so you know be happy you don't have to die by toxin you're welcome all right so now we're gonna go up here and get this guy I think I'll swim over here and go up the back if I remember correctly. We're gonna get Grenzo. He's a little bo the boss of this little area. He's the whole reason that the Ventrico is in the in the Stone Talon Mountains destroying things anyways. We're gonna go make him pay. Stop cutting down all the trees, Grenzo. They're not for you. They're for the Horde. Because it's okay if the Horde cuts down a bunch of trees, but not the Venture Co. the game down just a little bit while we're in this area. That's a noisy wheel. shit. I come in, I come in, I don't try to help you. And they would have totally died if I had not come along. Okay. Let's go again. Customer. 
Just wanted to go to the damn store. Oh my god, they came over here just to... Okay, that's funny. I'm trying to get Grenzo. Is that who we just killed? Because I didn't loot the arm. And I helped them kill him. Person will stay until I get Grenzo. Got him. The little dwarf can't even understand me, but I'm gonna say thank you anyways. Out of that loud area. Turn the game back up a little bit. Okay, so let's go turn this in. Oh, Shredding Machines is turned in all the way back at the entrance of Stone Talon. Okay, so I'm gonna have to walk back there to do that. That's why I didn't see the turn in at first, because it's like almost off the map. Ugh. Elite. One of the elites is up. We are not going for that. Good luck, though, to whoever wants him.
What's up? Keep it real. Is that an upgrade? Yes, it's an upgrade. Okay. Be good. Yay. New back item. We got a couple good upgrades today. Oh, and I like the color. I thought I could walk up that way, but I can't. Won't let me. Okay, I was wrong. It's having us do the peak first. Oh, well, the peak doesn't have nearly the mob density that the, um, this area down here, the charred veil has, so it's probably good that we do the peak stuff first. Then we would end up picking up the elite quests for the den. So Stone Talon, poor Stone Talon is getting logged and mined. It's awful. So we are going to try to help next with getting some Gaia seeds. This way. Just kidding. I was on autopilot. You know, like when you're when you get in the car to drive and then you're not trying to go to work, but you're you're like you get on autopilot and you just automatically go to work and it's like, wait, that's not where I was going today. I was trying to go to the Walmart or something. But then you just end up at work. That's what I did right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I was like, oh here's Sunrock, time to turn. We're not going to Sunrock. The heck? I was so totally on autopilot. I do that all the time. And it's like, oops. Gaia seeds. And we're gonna use these to regrow the charred veil. Y'all haven't seen that yet, but there's um there's deforestation problems going on there too. The blight of the Desolus is, uh, is creeping into Stone Talon. It's not good. Not a good situation. I'm gonna try to help with that. Should we get that rare? I think we should get that rare. Go, Tong Vong. We're gonna get him. Get him, get him, get him. Spell isn't ready yet. 
And I stole your soul. What is that? No, that's not. Okay, what I have is better. I was like, I just got a new back. Are they going to give me another new back? But no, this one's not an upgrade. The Coercer Eyeball quest is cool because most of the time the Coercers actually drop two eyeballs. Unlike Zebras and their hooves, who most of the time drop zero even though they have four. So, good on the Coercer quest. See, he have two eyes, he give two eyes. It makes sense. Okay, got the Gaia seeds. Um, I know it says continue to Stone Talon Peak, but I really want to go turn in the, the shredding machine. So we're actually going to hearth to Crossroads and we're going to run up to turn that in. I just like the characters you create Sun Haven. It looks adorable. I really like, right? Like I was from the character creator. I was like, yes, I was so into it. I think it probably is going to be our next year community day game most likely. I'm testing out some things to make sure it's going to be like suitable, you know, but I think it is. I think it's going to be. Wait, there's a, there's a quest, there's a quest that's higher level than 27 in the Barrens? I don't, I don't remember what that quest is. I didn't look further because I want to play it today. Oh, oh, like you're going to play it on stream today. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, I didn't know that's what you meant. You going to make a little wolf girl? Yep, I'm going to make a wolf girl. Yes. Oh, it's going to be good.
I'm excited, I'm excited. A Marodine Wrangler. They must have been trying to go up to uh, Marodon. That's sad. That's sad to die at 40 plus. I would be sad. Hey, Baron's Guards. I'm going up to Stone Talon. What I think is cool about Stone Talon as a zone is it's literally just like, it's just like a path. Like it's, it, it's like very, um, it's very linear. Most zones in Classic WoW are not like that, but, um, but it's interesting. The, like the, one of the few linear ones that we have. Cause it's literally just a path up a mountain. And you can't traverse any of the rest of the mountain, so it's really not part of the walkable part of the zone. And in classic, because there's no flying, it doesn't even really exist. So, okay, we have this one, Melor sends word, but we've done the quests in the Barrens, like we did them. I know there's that one quest that, that looks like it's something we should do, but it's a, it's a Wailing Caverns dungeon quest. So we're probably not gonna do that. I don't know why it's not actually tagged as a dungeon quest. It is, it's the drop from the final boss. So like, it is literally a dungeon quest. You go kill the boss and, and he drops it and you turn it in. Oh, this person wants to do Grenzo's orders. That's dangerous. Oh, I wonder how many he has. How many do you have right now? How many does he have doing it? If he has like a full group, it might be worth doing. It's very dangerous. That might be worth it if he has a full group.
it's green, so like they'd be low level, but if we have everybody there, it would be all good. Like a five man. Don't die, oh my god, thank you so much, Jane. Thank you so much. Oh shit, it's a full group! Hell yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm, we're not gonna die, Jane, don't worry. We're not gonna die. We got this. <laughs> Thank you. We're not gonna die, don't worry. So we got a warrior, we got a druid, we got some shamans. Fuck yeah. We got this. I'm so excited. I thought for sure I would not be doing that quest and I would have to skip it. So glad I'm here for this. Me too, Jane. I need all your love and support. I need all your love and support. You're gonna play Sunhaven? Fuck yeah. Make sure you have all have room in your quest log. Okay, yes. I have room in my quest log. Man, this is why I transferred to Skull Rock. If I was still on Defias Pillager, no way would I be doing this quest. Nobody would be doing it. It would not happen. Jane, tell me what kind of character you make in Sunhaven. Angel? Oh, yeah. Gotta be. I think Angel's gonna heal. Here we go. picked a demon for my test. <laughs> so we were so opposite. I'm making an angel named Raph. Oh, Raphael, I love it. Yes. Coming, guys. I almost to you. Thank you so much for waiting, new friends. 
wear a COVID face mask for a bit? No, thank you, Jade. Not right now. And please, no one panic run. Yeah. Plenty of us can heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good advice, Zarvis. Okay, I feel good about this group. I feel good. I feel good. It's gonna happen. I feel good. It's gonna happen. Yes. I can't believe I'm getting to do this quest. What if someone dies? That's it for them. True. But we're not gonna die. We're OP. Get something first. Spell isn't ready yet. Pretty sure they went the wrong way, though. But that's okay. It's okay. It's just more XP. Wear a bandana mask? That's for rogues, Jade. We're a warlock. Warlocks would never hide their faces like that. Something first. Angel Explorer? I picked Explorer 2. I just could not with the um, run speed buff. I was like, yes, I have to have it. chose based on aesthetic. I love that for you. That's why I chose demon. Demon I chose purely on aesthetic. I was like, yes, I want big stupid dragons. I need a target. And I want to be the emoist of emos, so that's why I did the demon. Welcome, by the way, Jabe. I don't. I my main streaming is on um, on Twitch. So if you want to join the chat that's on screen, you want to come join me over on Twitch. But you're welcome to stay on YouTube if you want to. If you want to do that, I do request that you like the stream because I really, really appreciate it. You like the stream. It really helps me out. Here we go, here we go. Quest time. Excellent. We're not gonna die. <laughs> Jane, Jane, you're cracking me up. <laughs> okay. We got this. Not gonna die. One of the most dangerous quests in the whole fucking game. We're not gonna die. We're gonna do it because we have a full group. We have a full group and we got so many healers are gonna protect our ass. We're gonna protect our silly little warlock ass. <laughs> Get it, Karen! Hell yeah, thank you. Thank you, Alpha Tiff. Thank you. I love you guys. First wave? Easy. Yes. Yes.
One of the people just says, BRB, I gotta cook my food, y'all got this? They're just gonna stand there and trust us. They're just gonna stand there and trust us. Why? Why, friend? Why? <laughs> you have so much trust. You have so- I don't think- I think they are lying. I don't think they tell them the truth. I think they are lying to us. They are not leaving. <laughs> Okay. I think it's three waves. One more wave. My dog got me. <laughs> now they're saying their dog's playing. Yeah, soling this would have been rough. Soling this is like fucking impossible. We kill him so fast it takes forever for the next wave. Oh, okay, I think this is the last wave. Maybe there's another wave? I thought it was just three. Maybe we're just waiting for him to get the question mark. Oh, maybe it is more than three waves, my gosh. Well, everybody get ready for Sunhaven, because as soon as we're done with this quest, we're going to go hang out with Lunar um, and watch some Sunhaven. Oh, no. The Druid DC. There we go. It was just three waves. We were Time just waiting for his money, ass. Friend. Have a good one. <laughs> Oh, they want to wait for their DC friend to come back. I guess we should be nice and wait. Put my house down? Fuck yeah. We're gonna wait a couple men. I want to be nice. Don't want to leave somebody in the back of the cave alone. That's fucking rude. That's cruel that the, a warrior class quest is in here. Making warriors come in here like that. Drew 
really come back. You can blame it all on me. Julie, come back. I don't want to wait forever. It is like time to end. I don't want to be rude either. <gasps> oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Garnet, hello. Garnet, I have to tell you, I, uh, I'm, I'm streaming to both Twitch and, and YouTube, so I'm using Restream now, so I don't see all, like, the little notifications and things properly. Of, st of course, I still hear the boop boop, the alert or whatever. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. I haven't caught one of your streams in forever. Okay, wait. Um, oh, Lunar's probably started her stream, so she's not here anymore. Still Shout out. There you go. Okay. If you are if you are not following um Sailor Garnet, what the heck are you doing? Um go fix that right now. I don't know if that shout out worked. Did it work? If I when I did slash shout out, did it work? Anyway, the point is, if you like my streams, you will like Sailor Garnets. Um, she is awesome. She has good vibes. She's chill. I didn't see it. Yeah, I don't know how to make this shit work. I'm gonna have to, like, fix it. Because my chat is weird now. So that I can see both Twitch and YouTube chats, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I decided to go start streaming on both. I, can't cast that. I don't really use YouTube, but love showing support. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh, they're back. The druid came back. Okay, let's go rescue them. I guess he's in another layer because I do not see him. I haven't seen WoW in a hot minute. So this is hardcore. This is hardcore challenge, which means if we die, we're, we're done. Which is why I'm like still here, even though I'm, I'm really done with this quest, but the druid got disconnected. So we're trying to be patient and like help him <laughs> get back because he would be stuck in the back of this cave and uh, probably die. So we were trying to be patient. Oh my gosh, he says he didn't get credit for the quest. Oh, they're going to want to redo the quest. Oh my gosh, hang on. Ugh, I can't, but I can't get back out if you're on my own and my hearth is down. I guess I'll stay and help. I don't I don't feel like I really have a choice. I feel like it's like the polite thing to do, you know. Haven't seen did you ever play WoW Garnet?
sadly only 30 days worth as a kid. Oh. He's scolding me for complaining on stream. I was, though. It is the right thing to do to stay. I need a target. I played um EverQuest as a kid until WoW came out out and then switched over to WoW and played that super hardcore. But back in the day, like all of the MMOs were like, except for RuneScape, where like you had to pay every single month. So there was a lot of people I think that did play like the 30 day free trial, like what you're talking about, and then um, never really played more than that. Mama Carnet wasn't having it, yeah. I think that was true for a lot of people. Their parents are probably like, I'm not paying $15 a month for you to play a video game when I can buy one video game for like 60 bucks or whatever and you can just play that. Or I guess 50 back in the day, a lot of games were like even cheaper. something first okay that was three waves right okay so now we just wait for him to RP be done When you were doing this by yourself, those waves are like back to back because it's so many mobs and they, they, it takes you longer to kill them, of course, when you're by yourself. So it feels like it's like constant and you never get a break. Yay, okay. That's still recharging. Are you still watching? That was Poggers. That was. 
hardcore makes people do like things that they would definitely not normally uh, do on WoW. Um, <laughs> like waiting like that. It would have never been, it would not be considered at all, even if it wasn't hardcore. If, if it wasn't hardcore, it would never be considered. I'm out of range. Made it out. Okay, let's go run somewhere safe, and we will raid into Lunar. Another stream survived. Much to my shock. We'll just run over to the little tent over here that has the, um, the turn-in guy in it. Okay. Yo! Keep it real. There we go. All right. So, that's going to be the end. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the wrong camera. This is the one that usually we have half and half. Just kidding. Let's do this one. Okay. Thank you all guys so much for watching. We are going to end here. Um, if you're watching the, the recorded VOD, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.